Lawrence, and today's date is Wednesday, April 29, 2020. Good morning, Bronx Hearts. Lights up, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Indeed, it is Mr. Kenuel here again. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Terrence, for joining Lights Up. Very excited to have you here. We're going to jump right into announcements. And we've been talking about uh, the fourth quarter quite a bit. And I have some strategies. I was on the distance learning page the other day, just poking around, just having some fun. And I saw some really awesome schedules. So here is my tip. Take a look at some of these schedules. I think checking out these schedules can really help you plan out your day for when you need to take a break, when you need to work on certain subjects, when you need to take some time for yourself to eat lunch and just have some flex time. But one of the strategies that can really help you so you don't feel overwhelmed is just having a schedule. And you don't even have to think about your own schedule. Here are some examples that you can use for yourself. So check out those schedules and maybe follow a schedule for yourself for a couple of days. That way you can feel accomplished. You can stay on top of your work because you're managing your time and the expectations overall. Um, that is my announcement. Terrence, what is your announcement? For announcements, we have parent surveys. First grade to 90% of completion gets a day of Google Classroom assignments free. So there's no Google Classroom assignments that day. Yeah, absolutely. Is that something that you would want, Terrence? I really, really want it. Wow, you got to call those sixth grader friends of yours and get everyone on board because seventh grade is still in the lead. Getting closer and closer all the time. That is on the distance learning page as well. So check it out. And now for my personal favorite segment, the good news segment. Yes, feeling some good news today. What is your good news, Terrence? My good news is that I've just been turning in assignments and just really starting fresh for this quarter. I wanna make up for last quarter. Make up for last quarter, amazing. Yes, you can always improve. We still have another quarter to go. Um, what did you think about that um, schedule tip? that I shared? Is that something that you've already done or think about doing? I've implemented a schedule into my day. I really have a schedule, wake up schedule, work schedule. I just want to plan my day out so that I know when I can have a break and when I can just stop working and let loose. I think a schedule is a great idea. Absolutely. And has it been working for you so far? Yes, it has been working for me. Amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. We'll keep it up uh, and certainly reach back out to me and let me know how it's working. And uh, if all of a sudden your schedule doesn't work, check out some of these new schedules. Sometimes the schedule just needs to change, just like everything. My good news is that I read an article about, obviously, there are a whole lot of face masks going out into the world. But this really cool company, this scuba diving company, is actually creating masks from uh, recycled ocean plastic. So they're taking plastic out of the ocean and then making them into a mask, right? So garbage that is ruining the environment and then creating something awesome for what we really need right now, which is so incredible. Um, so hopefully that inspires you. Don't forget, you can always reach out to me with some good news as always. We're now going into a brand new segment called Scholar Segment. And this is going to be a variety of things, but definitely focusing in on those silly questions and opinion and get you thinking questions that Ms. Minegra has been putting in the advisory assignments. So we'll start there. We'll have a variety of things coming up in our Scholar Segment, um, including readings and um, other things from scholars and things that you can learn about. But what was the question from yesterday? The question from yesterday was, what would peanut butter be called if it wasn't peanut butter? What would peanut butter be called if it wasn't peanut butter? Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, I would say peanut spread, uh, jelly, jelly companion, maybe? I don't know. What, what, did, what did some scholars say? Some scholars said smooth peanut butter, peanut spread, butter from peanut, Creamy nut, peanut paste, and mashed peanut. Those are some 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 really extraordinary names. Yes, yes. Peanut paste is interesting. I think the one that sounds the weirdest is probably mashed. What was that last one? Mashed, mashed peanut. Yeah, I just think about mashed potatoes, and somehow mashed potatoes and peanut butter just it, I don't know. But to add on to that question, Mr. Robin actually shares some interesting facts about peanut butter. 
in one of the Australian provinces, when the market started being flooded by margarine products that called themselves things like vegetable butter or corn butter or almost butter, the dairy industry successfully convinced legislators um, that it would cause confusion for people and got them to pass a law saying any food called butter would have to be from dairy, right? Margarine is not necessarily from dairy and there's all sorts of confusion and there's no dairy in peanut butter either, right? So there's a lot of confusion. So they made a law in Australia so that literally they had to come up with a new name for peanut butter and they called it peanut paste. Wow. So a lot of the scholars actually came up with that and connected with it already. Very interesting. That has been your first scholar segment. We'll learn something new almost every day. Yeah. Um, or think about something new every single day. Amazing. All right. It is now time to get into the riddle answer. What loses its head in the morning but gets it back at night? What loses its head in the morning but gets it back at night? Do you have an answer? Do you have a guess? No. No, not even you're not ever gonna try and guess. Loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night. I'd have to say a crazy person. Close, close. It's actually a pillow. A pillow. pillow. It loses its head at in the morning and gets it back at night. What? All right. Now we're going into guess the staff member. Yes. All right. Now, this could be anyone in the building, anyone that works in the building. Okay. So think outside the box. Try and think who we've already talked about. And here are your three clues. Okay. I love the color pink. I rode donkeys as a child. And I played basketball in middle school. Those are your three clues. I like the color pink. I rode donkeys as a child and I played basketball in middle school. Who do you think that is, Terrence? Um, if you had to guess. If I had to guess. Who's the first person that is coming to your mind that would like pink, rode donkeys as a child and played basketball in middle school? Miss Two. Miss Two is coming to my mind. Miss Two is coming to your mind. Yeah. I think that is a great guess, but that is incorrect. That is not correct. That's a really great guess. She did lead the sports after school. She's very athletic. I can see her liking pink. And I don't know. I, I would see her riding a donkey as a child as well. So that's a great guess. But if you think you know the answer, you can email me, rcanual at bronxarts.net. And we will find out tomorrow who that staff member is. But finally... It's time for the letter of the day. Terrence, what's the letter of the day? The letter of the day is... There it is. There Hopefully it is. you've been following every single day. Um, do you have any thoughts about what the word this week might be? The word this week. Mm-hmm. No. All right, you got to put them all together. You got to put the them all together. The kind of out there, so... Yeah, that's true. I don't really think the letters make a word. Oh, that's interesting. You think we're being sneaky and not making a word at all? Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Well, we will find out. But that is all from us. Any final words, Terrence? Um, just keep up the good work and make sure that you turn those parent surveys in. You gotta get to ninety percent sixth grade. Absolutely. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day, Bronx Arts. Say bye, Terrence.